Welcome back to Iron Fury Plays Pokemon Yellow Version Randomized Nuzlocke, and today we are going to take on Saffron Jim and possibly head toward the Seafoam Islands. But first, let's check out the team. Up first, we have Steve the Jolteon Electric type with just honestly, his stats are becoming great overall, but that speed and special is just Chef's Kiss. Speaking of Chef's Kiss, this move set Thunderbolt, Bubble Beam, Ice Beam, and Earthquake. And that ain't changing. Up next, we have Audrey 2, the Victory Bell Grass Poison type with just beautiful mixed uh, attack stats and decent speed. With Sludge, Psychic, Ice Beam, and Cut. Up third, we have Stargazer, the Psychic Type, Al Al Psychic type Alakazam. I wish I can get through these intros without fucking it up, but here we are. Uh, with... Again, just like Jolteon, great speed and special. With Psybeam, Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, and Blizzard, he's basically a nuke. Up fourth, we have our starter, Kinikuman, the fighting type Machamp, with just sky high attack and pretty bulky defense. With Slash, high jump kick, submission, and fly. Up fifth, we have Ride the Lightning, our electric flying type Zapdos, with. Just generally good stats across the board. Um, not really a bad stat among them. With Thunderbolt, Blizzard, Waterfall, and Strength. And last but certainly not least, Dagother welcomes you, friend. With just, again, great stats across the board. But not a great move set. Karate Chop, Bone Club, Fire Punch, and Jump Kick. So let's head up to Sabrina. Hopefully we're not too underleveled. Um, if Koga is anything to go by, because they are matching in this game. Her ace is going to be level 60, so I hope that she doesn't have anything too outrageous. But, we'll see. Alright, what do you got? I probably will. There's actually a pretty easy pattern for reaching her, but I'm gonna try and hit everybody, so. Old bat. That's nothing too dangerous. Again, we're gonna seem like we're way over leveled here, but we're really not. Anything were under leveled for Sabrina herself. Yeah. What a shit move. And a Venusaur. So I'm just gonna ice beam the shit out of you. Hey, level 53. You learn anything? No. Alright, Audrey 2. You should be able to handle these clowns with little difficulty. I'm pretty sure it is. If you're powerful enough, can handle most things with little to no problem. Aw, oh, a Hypno. A little 42. Not bad. Not bad. Slud should do a decent chunk on you, though. If not, kill you outright. Oh, yeah, especially if you get a crit. And, actually, I have Psychic and Ice Beam. We'll just use Psychic. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it doesn't really scare me. But, you know. What do you got going on here? Oh, you have a Dragonite. He's only level 37, though. 
it'd be scarier if it was, you know, a little stronger, but I'm just gonna ice beam this into oblivion. A Kabu Tops! Uh, Psychic should take you in. You have, like, no special. You do have Flamethrower, though. I don't particularly care for that, but that should still do nothing, yeah. Provided that you don't burn. And the Jinx. Sludge should take you out. Not exactly bulky. Hey, level 52. Golem. I'm getting flashbacks of Koga, and I don't particularly care for it. Way that I might want to see Sabrina, other than the fact that she is, for lack of better word, a government official that I am required to see if I am to complete my Pokemon challenge. That might actually hurt. That's hurting a little too much, okay. And I'm fucking burned. Son of a bitch. Earthquake it. He's gone. He ain't living this. Alright. First off... Sabrina. Fuck it, I guess we'll just face her. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Never mind that shit. Here comes Bongo. I have a vile plume! It's level 60! Oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna psychic the shit out of you. Ooh, next defend. Alright, we're gonna use Ice Beam now just to spread PP. And hopefully this either kills. Okay, just outright kills. I'm fine with that. Magneton. Also just level 60. I hope this does a lot of damage and... You have Growl? Okay. is nowhere near as threatening. This was not threatening at all. 
I mean, despite the fact that she was well over my level, this was not a threat. It, if I didn't grind, it certainly would have been. I'm not gonna completely, you know, disregard the fact that they are all level 60s, but her movesets were just terrible. What TM does this do? Egg Bomb. Useless. Probably just gonna sell that from being honest. Well, I'm just baffled by that. I'm genuinely taken aback by how just not much of a challenge that was. Alright, we have to make a small change. We have to call an audible. Because, unfortunately, nobody in my team can learn surf. So, somebody has to sit out for a little while. And to be honest, it's gonna be dang off her. Um, the rest of the team is just genuinely better right now. So I took the liberty before before recording to teach Al Gore surf. So yes, Al Gore is back. This calls for a celebration. So we should be fairly equipped now for, honestly, most of the rest of the game, at least up until, I'll say up until about the end. I mean, provided nothing crazy happens. Son of a bitch. you got for me. Another magneton. Alright, and at this point, the trainers are just not going to stack up. Like, at all. This week, shit. I mean, technically, it does count as a fully evolved Pokemon, but still, this is fucking weak. Oh, 
Oh, shit. You're uh, looking out for my health, bud. Um, thank you. But I still have to kill you. This should do a shit ton, if not kill out. Yeah, that's what it does. Tentacruel special is fucking stacked, but still. Marowak. Welcome to DK. Enjoy your food. DK, DQ. Welcome to Gary Queen. I don't know. I'm having a moment. It's early for me. So. Hey, it is chilly because I froze him in a blizzard. Alright, Al Gore. Do the one thing I need you to do. To be honest with you, I'm probably gonna fight this one guy and then try to skip most of these people. Just cause, for one thing, I'm already well above all of them. I mean, yes, they're money, but they're mostly just kind of PP fodder. That's really all they are, it's just absorbing PP that I can use elsewhere. What I'll probably end up doing is, uh, once I get to Cinnabar Island, I'll probably raise them all to level 60, and then we'll move on from there. So I'm just gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna be cowards today. And that's okay. Oh, wait, we get an encounter here. Um... Actually, we get three encounters, because we get this one, we have the one with sea foam, actually four, because there's a static. And then we also have, um, just before Cinnabar, we have Cinnabar Island, because you can fish there and surf. Uh, and then you have the secret house, so there's quite a few encounters left. So, I'm gonna... Oh, you sh- you fuckstick. These waters are only treacherous if you're a loser. Oh, it's all weak. You know what? Get this shit out of here. Get this shit out of here. I am not... Not for that weak shit. Alright, come on. We got an encounter. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Come on. Okay. Our encounter is... A Spiro! Hmm. How are you, little guy? Getting the ball. Very good. We caught the Spiro. Now, of course, there's only one nickname I ever give Spiros. And this is this is an old callback to my original Fire Red Leaf Green playthrough, but. So is ready. Alright. So now up next we got the Seafoam Islands. Plus whatever the Aracuno happens to be. And then we can actually do the power plant too. We'll probably do the power plant after I could have had a ghastly. We'll probably do the power plant after um, Viridian, or no, yeah, Viridian. Um, after Cinnabar, to be honest. But I'm gonna call it here. Next time, we are gonna explore the Seafoam Islands, get our encounters, and uh, head towards Cinnabar Island. But until then, take care.